Good morning. Welcome to our devotional alone time with God. This is Escape Forever Free Family. Thanks for joining us. For those joining us for the first time, welcome to Escape Forever Free Family. Here we support each other as we work to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. This is our alone time morning worship devotional hour. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day that you have brought us to worship before you. It's not because we are special or good or better than anyone who is not here with us now while we are still in the land of the living, but it's only because you have spared us for your own purpose. Help us not to disappoint you. So today, show us what it is that you require of us and give us your Holy Spirit to help us into obedience so that we would, we will truly follow after it and commit to your will. In Jesus' name we beg. Amen. This morning's devotional reading is coming to us from Maranatha and the title is Heaven's Flawless Pearl. The key text will be from St. Matthew 13, verse 45 and 46. Before we go into that, let us repeat our quarterly um, Bible verse for the week, which we are committing to memory. This week's Bible passage, Isaiah 53, verse 5. It reads, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Memory text. Isaiah 53 and verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Memory text Isaiah 53 verse 5. But we are wounded for but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed memory text isaiah 53 verse 5 but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace, peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. May God help us to recall this when he desires of us to use it for his glory. Reading, Heaven's Flawless Pearl. Key text, St. Matthew 13, verses 45 and 46. And it reads, Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all he had and bought it. Christ himself is a pearl of great price. The righteousness of Christ as a pure white pearl has no defect, no stain. No work of man can improve the great and precious gifts of God. It is without a flaw. In Christ are, quote unquote, hid the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, end of quote, as supported by Colossians 2 verse 3. He is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, as supported by 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30. All that can satisfy the needs and longings of the human soul for this world and for the world to come is found in Christ. Our Redeemer is the pearl so precious that in comparison, all things else may be accounted loss. In the parable, the pearl is not represented as a gift. The merchant man bought it at a price of 
all that he had at the price of all that he had many question the meaning of this since christ is represented in the scripture as a gift he is a gift but only to those who give themselves soul body and spirit to him without reserve we are to give ourselves to christ to live a life of willing obedience to all his requirements all that we are all the talents and capabilities we possess are the lord's to be consecrated to his service when we thus give ourselves wholly to him christ with all the treasures of heaven gives himself to us we obtain the pearl of great price in the market of which divine mercy has the management the precious pearl is represented as being bought without money and without price in this market all may obtain the goods of heaven the treasury of the jewels of truth is open to all the Savior's voice earnestly and lovingly invites us, quote, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayst be rich, end of quote. The poorest are as well able as the richest to purchase salvation, for no amount of worldly wealth can secure it it is obtained by obtained by willing obedience by giving ourselves to christ as his own purchased possession we cannot earn salvation but we are to seek for it as much with as much interest and perseverance as though we would abandon everything in the world for it. Amen. This morning's devotional reading reminds us of what a great gift we have from God. A flawless gift. A priceless and flawless pearl. That is the gift of Jesus Christ. And even more so, specifically, the sacrificial gift of his death for us so we can access full and free salvation. This morning, the simple question is, will you receive this gift? It is free and it is good. There are no strings attached there is no trick it is a free gift being offered to all of us who will give all of ourselves to jesus for him to direct us to receive this gift will you give yourself to god today surrender all be willing to abandon everything like the man in the parable who when he found that price, that pearl of great price, gave up everything he had so he could purchase it. The only thing you need to give up is self. Surrender self to Christ today and you can receive this free gift of full salvation and live the, the, the Christian life and the free life in which no man can condemn you because Christ will impute his righteousness to them who walk with him. As we go into closing our devotional hour, we will sing our hymn together. As you think about this choice, I hope this song will help you to even further consider making that move. The hymn is number 296. Lord, I'm coming home. 
invite you. Pray this prayer with me if this is your desire. Lord, dear Heavenly Father, we have truly wandered far from you for far too long. But today with this message, somebody wants to say, I'm coming home. Somebody has found you to be the pearl of great price 
and they are willing to leave everything behind in this day. God, hear their prayer and answer them. Accept them in your kingdom today, Father. Let them realize that the victory is in you, not in any plan that they're going to make to fix, fix things before they come. None of us can make ourselves ready for your presence nor for your kingdom. Only you, through the working of your Holy Spirit and the anointing blood of Jesus Christ, can make us ready. So it begins with the first step. I beg that all the persons in agreement with this prayer, as they make this first step to you, embrace them, God, with your wide arms of love as they have made up their mind to come home to you. Some persons are still not certain. Some persons are still not bold enough. Some persons are still not ready. Some persons are still believing that they have to fix things first. God, I pray for that group of listeners and I beg, please God, send your Holy Spirit to minister to them with a dreams or vision or human hands and feet and voice to testify that the work they're trying to do is impossible and that the work they need to do is way simpler. Take the step of faith and come to you, surrendering all, abandoning everything that stands between you and them, everything and anything, no matter what form it exists in, whether family, friends, finances, achievements, plans, dreams, present jobs, no matter what. If through the message and the word and the light that they have received, they know in their consciousness it offends you, let them let it go now and choose you, you pearl of great price, our God. Bless your people and hear and answer their prayer and save them in your kingdom, I beg. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen and amen i truly pray that today you will come home and start to experience heaven here on earth and start to get dressed because the banquet is almost ready to receive those who are clothed in the righteousness of jesus christ please come home Amen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Walk good, but above all, walk with God. See you in our next video. Remember, take that step of faith. Come home. <laughs>